You want to make a modded Minecraft server, specifically when I add mods to a Minecraft server. Well, if you've got an existing server, you'll need to turn it into a modded server. Now, for this video, we're going to be using NeoForge, but there's guides in the description for Fabric and Forge as well if you're using those mod loaders. The process is similar for all of them, but it is a bit different for each, so I'd recommend watching the specific video for what you're wanting to do. All of our videos also cover adding mods, so don't worry about having to come back to this video. Just go check those out. But for NeoForge, I'm going to go ahead and click Download here to go to the Download page where you want to select the version you want and then click here to download the installer for that version you will need to keep or save it we can then go ahead and minimize our browser and we can find NeoForge in our downloads folder in here you'll be able to right click on this and click on open with and then Java if you don't have Java here it's because you're gonna to need to get Java 21 this is required for Minecraft mods and servers you definitely need it for modded servers link down below of course just come down here click download Go to Windows and grab this x64 installer by clicking this link. Then you'll install this just like any other program and you'll be able to open up Minecraft, specifically NeoForge. You may also need to run the jar fix, but that's not always required. First get Java 21, then run the jar fix and you'll be good to go and open up NeoForge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and the first thing we want to do is actually install client. That's because anyone who joins this server needs to have NeoForge and every single mod that's added to the server installed locally in their Minecraft as well. So that means they need NeoForge client installed and you need it installed as well. So we can go ahead and click install client, click proceed, and that one I'll download and install. While this is downloading, I do want to mention that this server is not 24-7. It's only up and running when your computer's up and running, and it's using your own computer's resources, meaning you're going to need a pretty good computer. It's also using your own internet connection, which means not only do you need a good connection, anyone who joins this server can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, as well as find out where you lived under your latitude and longitude coordinates. So because of that, you may not want to start a server on your own computer and instead host one somewhere where you don't have to worry about hardware, you don't have to worry about your internet connection or security or anything like that, and it's just overall simple and easy. And that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash simple to set your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to start a modded Minecraft server. Start your modded server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. Break down .xyz slash simple. Now we can go ahead and close out of this and actually reopen up the NeoForge installer. This time though, we want to click install server. This red box will appear. Click the three dots in the red box and then click on desktop on the left hand side. We we'll want to right click in here and click new folder. Then what you want to do is name this modded server and then we can make sure it's selected right like so. Should have kind of like this box around it. You also see the folder name down here. Click select and then we want to make sure that ser start server jar is checked here as well. And then finally we can click proceed. Then we'll now download, install, and set up everything to where we can play on this server or get this server up and running. We have a folder on our desktop click OK to close this, that now has all of our server folders in it. As you can see, folders, files, all of that. To start your server, double click run.bat. It's this Windows batch file here. It's going to fail though, and that's because we need to agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we have here. Open the EULA.txt, change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, T-R-U-E exactly like that, and then click File, Save. Now at this moment, I do want to mention, if you're making a vanilla server into a modded server, you're going to want to move that world in here. To do that, you would just simply open up your vanilla Minecraft server, and then what you'll want to do is move this world folder, right like so, from here over into your modded server. That easy. And now this world from your vanilla server will be what your modded server starts up with. So your builds, your inventory, everything will transfer over, but now you'll be able to add mods to the server. Double click that run.bat file and your server will now start. Now, at this point there's no mods or anything, just your world has been moved over. But if you do want to add mods, we can do that. And as you can see, things are starting, world's prepared, all good to go. But we can stop the server by coming over here and typing stop, right like so, and hitting enter. Then press any key to continue and close out of that. And now we want to download mods. You can use CurseForge, you can use Moderinth, both are great. Just make sure any mods you download are for NeoForge or the mod loader that you're using and the game version that you're playing. I'm going to go ahead and grab a mod that is kind of well known, which is Waystones. The reason being is if we click on this, we go to Files here, we'll be able to get the, of course, NeoForge 
1.21.10 version. But if we were just to install this, it wouldn't work because if we click on it, we'll be able to see under related projects that this has BALM, a required dependency. If you tried to install this, it wouldn't work on your server because you need BALM as well. So we'll go ahead, download Waystones. And then after we download Waystones, we can click save here. We'll also want to download BALM, but I'm actually going to show you how to see this on Modernth as well. So if we search Waystones here, we can go to versions and then we will find that Neo Forge 1.21.10 version where the dependency is listed. I wanted to show you how to get this on both because uh, you might be using both platforms and knowing how to see those is literally what will make or break your mods working or not. So you can download those and we're now good to go. To install these, you're simply going to want to take them from your downloads folder and then what we'll do is move them into our mods folder right here on the server. Just boom, right like so. Now, you'll also need to install these locally. So go ahead and select them and then click to copy. And then what we'll do is paste these in your local mods folder. But at this point, you're actually good to start your server because your mods are installed. So you can double click the run dot bat. Your server will start with the mods. You're good to go. Now we can go ahead, open up the Minecraft launcher and we'll need to install these in our local mods folder. To do that, it's going to be the same for you and your friends, luckily. So we can go to installations here, hover over NeoForge, click the folder icon. That will open this up where you should have a mods folder. As we can see here, there's a mods folder. Open that and then just paste in your mods right like so. These are the same ones that were in your server's mod folder. Now you will need to play Minecraft using NeoForge in order for this to work. So go ahead and make sure you're playing Minecraft with your NeoForge installation and you're good to go. You'll be able to join your server. Your friends can't join in your server yet, but we'll talk more about that here in a second. So here we are. We can go to multiplayer. We're going to go ahead and add a server. The server name can be a local connection because you're the only one who can join the server. It's a local connection to you. And then we can do local host. Click done, and then we can double click to join. Now, you're the only person that can join using this IP, I should say, not that you're the only person that can join, period. Now, this is our world that we had on our vanilla server. We're good to go, everything's set up. Our mods are added. Most importantly, we can see that Waystones is added here. So we could go ahead and add in a spawn Waystone, and then we could also go ahead and add in another Waystone, and they'll work. All of that stuff, you can go back and forth between these two waystones. But what if you want your friends to join this server? Well, in addition to them needing the mods that are on the server installed, you'll also need to port forward. And this guide goes through everything. It's linked down below step by step on how to port forward. It even covers how to get your friends online using your public IP once your port forward is complete. So go check this out. Link down below, super in-depth text and video guide to get your friends on your server. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. But thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.